So whichever Freestyle Libre sensor you're using, there's five tips that you absolutely have to know that aren't in the instruction manual and they're not often taught. But these are tips that will keep your Libre sensor from falling off prematurely, make the application process easier and less painful, and even make your Libre sensor more accurate. So let's get started and talk about five tips for putting on your Libre sensor the right way. Make sure to stick around for the last tip as it's the most important of all. So starting with number five, stay dry for at least 60 minutes. So this is something that I feel makes a big difference. So after you apply your Libre sensor, the adhesive is still forming a bond with your skin. And if you take a shower, go out for a jog and get all sweaty in those first 60 minutes or so, it can weaken the bond between the adhesive and your skin. And this is true with any adhesive early on. So by all means, go for a jog, take a shower, go out for a swim, wait at least 60 minutes before engaging in any activity that will generate moisture under the adhesive to give the adhesive the best chance at forming a bond with the skin and staying on for the full 14 days. Number four, specific placement on the arm. So a lot of people when they place on their Libre sensor, they kind of just blindly place it somewhere on the arm. I see some people put it more towards the front. I see some people put it just really high up on the arm, but it's best to stick to the middle of the back of your upper arm. So why does this matter? Why is specific placement so important? Well, the Libre sensor works best and is most accurate when it's placed in the soft fatty portion of the back of the upper arm in the interstitial fluid. If you place the Libre sensor too high on your arm, you'll wind up placing it over the deltoid muscle. You place it too far forward, you'll wind up putting it into the bicep muscle. And when the Libre sensor is placed close to or even in a muscle, the tissue in this area is much more dense. And what that can lead to is actually causing the filament to bend. And this can lead to inaccurate readings and even failed sensors. Not only that, but it can be more painful to put it into these areas. So when you place your Libre sensor, make sure you're putting it in the back and the middle portion of the upper arm where the soft and flabby portion is. Number three, lift don't reach. So as a follow-up to what we just discussed, it's not always easy for everyone to reach all the way over to get the Libre sensor on the back of the arm. Even if you lift the arm up and place the sensor, you're still blindly placing it and you can't see the back of the arm. And it could wind up in an area it's not supposed to be in, like in some scar tissue, an abrasion, or a mole. So rather than reaching over, the easier way is to instead lift the arm all the way up and you do this in front of a mirror so you can expose the entire back portion of the arm and you can see exactly where you're placing the Libre sensor. So instead of reaching over or just lifting up and blindly placing it, you're gonna lift the arm all the way up like this in front of a mirror like this and you're able to see the entire back portion of the arm. You can see where you're placing the Libre sensor and it just makes it a lot easier to place it exactly where it needs to be to get the most accurate readings and avoid any areas of the arm you shouldn't be putting it into. Number two, exfoliate and limit moisturizers. So prior to putting on a new Libre sensor, you wanna make sure to limit the use of moisturizers, scented soaps, and other types of lotions. These types of products can not only cause local skin irritation, but they can also cause the skin to become oily, which can inhibit adhesion of the sensor. It's also a good idea to apply some gentle exfoliation to the skin prior to putting on the sensor. Removing those dead skin cells with a washcloth and some lukewarm water can make a really big difference in improving the adhesion of the Libre sensor to the skin. Number one, make it stick. So my last and probably most important tip is to use something called SkinTac. So SkinTac is a liquid adhesive that you apply to the skin just before putting on your Libre sensor. And honestly, I always felt like it should just be included with the box with every Libre sensor, as I really feel it's a necessity for any Libre user to make sure that their Libre sensor stays on the full 14 days. It comes in a couple different varieties. You can get it in a bottle or in individual wipes, which is my favorite. So to use it, you first clean the arm with alcohol as you normally would. And then once the alcohol dries, you apply the skin tack next. Normally it takes about 30 seconds for it to completely dry. And I always make sure that it's nice and tacky before I go ahead and apply the sensor. Once the skin's nice and tacky, you'll go ahead and apply your Libre sensor as you normally would. And the skin tack applies an additional hypoallergenic layer of adhesive that cements the Libre sensor in place and will very likely keep it from falling off prematurely. So those are some tips for helping you put on your Libre sensor the right way. I hope that was helpful. Please share in the comments your favorite Libre tip or trick for keeping it on or maybe making it a little bit more accurate. And thank you as always for watching the video.